Hello my YouTube friends. Today I want to show you how to create an instant replay for your live stream just like this. Hello my YouTube friends. Today I want to show you how to create an instant replay for your live stream just like this. And yes, that was in real time. It's that easy to do. Oh, and by the way, it's totally free. I'm also going to show you how to automate this for anyone who has a stream deck. So let's get to it. My goal on this channel is to help make people better live streamers and maybe entertain a little bit in the process. So take a second and let me know how I'm doing down in the comments. And while you're there, leave a thumbs up. That goes a long way towards helping YouTube to share this video with a wider audience. And my analytics say that 80% of the folks who watch my content are not subscribed. So if you're one of those 80%, please subscribe. It really does help me to keep making content that helps you. So thanks. The first thing we're gonna need to do is install a plugin we're going to use for this and it's called the move transition plugin it's really awesome here we are in the install page for the move transition and the version that i'm installing is 2.2.1 yours may be newer but they should work the same and if i scroll down here there are some instructions on how this works we're just going to click the download in the top right and you can download the windows installer the windows zip file or the mac os install and of course there's one for linux here as well i'm just going to download the windows installer it is the easiest to put on and once i put it on the machine i just double click and I install it. This will come up on Windows. You can click here and click Run Anyway. And it's just gonna come up to install. It'll ask you where the location is for your OBS. You just wanna make sure that you give it the correct location and then just click Next through the install and you should have the move install completed. Okay, now we can go into OBS and set this up for instant replay. We're gonna go into Settings first and we're gonna go ahead and look at our output. We're gonna select this replay buffer and we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna set it to 10 seconds. You can set it to whatever you want, of course. Then we're gonna select recording and we're gonna go in here and set this up to record our replay buffer. So we wanna set our location where our replay buffer is gonna be saved. I'm gonna change it to MP4. Then I'm gonna go down here and select the proper encoder for my machine. I want my bit rate to be 60,000. That's what I record at. We want our preset here to be high quality. You may have to adjust it depending upon your machine. And I I do not need psycho visual tuning. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that my uh, listening device is set. And then I want my base canvas and my output canvas to be the same, 1920 by 1080. And my frames per second are 30, yours might be 60. And right here, you wanna just make sure this says replay. That designates what the replay buffer is going to say. And then we wanna go ahead and go to general and select automatically start the replay buffer when streaming starts. And then we're good to go. I'm gonna click okay. And then I'm gonna come over here and start our replay buffer and then I'll wait about 10 seconds and then I'm just gonna click this button right here which creates our replay then we're gonna go and click the plus I'm gonna create a new scene this is gonna be a nested scene that's gonna have our replay in it so I'm just gonna call it an NS dash replay and click OK then I'm gonna go under sources and click the plus and we're gonna go to a media source and I'm gonna call this one replay and click OK and then I'm gonna browse and I'm gonna select that replay that we just created you can see there it is and click open and then OK so now we have our replay and it's playing. You can see it right there. Now I'm going to go up to tools and I'm going to go to scripts and I'm going to click this little plus and I'm going to select the instant replay script and click open. And over here on the right under media source, I'm going to select our replay media source and click close. Then I'm going to click the plus here and I'm going to go into a media source again. And this one's just going to be the overlay that I use for our replay and click OK. I'm going to browse and find our overlay and click open. I'm going to loop this so it plays all the time and click OK and there we go so just a little camcorder overlay now I'm gonna go into settings and I'm gonna go to our hotkeys and I'm gonna set up a hotkey for our instant replay and there you see it I'm just gonna use control shift R and that will save our recordings for our replays it does the exact same thing as that little down arrow next to the replay buffer so now we're all set I can go into scene I can poke around for 10 seconds which is actually a lot longer than you think it is and once I get to about the 10 second mark I just go control shift and R and you can see down in the lower right it tells me that the replay buffer has been saved and now when I just switch scenes to the NS replay there we go we can see our replay so 
how do we integrate this into our live streams? Well, let's go ahead and rename this scene here. And this would be our main scene. So I'm just gonna call it main. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the plus under scenes and I'm gonna create a scene called replay one. Now under that scene sources, I'm gonna go ahead and add my camera so it looks just like our main. But then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a scene and we're gonna add the replay scene. And we're just gonna shrink up our replay scene to wherever we want it in our screen and we'll just leave it right there. So now, once we click our replay button to save our replay, as soon as we're ready to play that replay, we can just go ahead and switch to the replay one scene. Now I'm gonna create a replay two scene. We're gonna move this up and I'm gonna click the plus and we're gonna go ahead and add our replay scene in here. And I'm just gonna shrink it a little bit. And then I'm gonna click the plus again and I'm gonna add my camera. And we're gonna use the same camera that we have used before. And there we go, we just need to move it under our replay. Now we're all set. So now we've got our main replay and we go to replay one, it's just a tiny box and replay two, it's a bigger box. Now is where the move transition comes into play so that all of this looks really, really smooth. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to go ahead and select the move and click okay to create a new move transition. And then I'm just gonna scroll down here and there are all kinds of different settings that you can play with in here. But the one that we are going to be interested in is right down here. It is the appearing items because our items are going to be appearing on the screen and we're gonna drop this down and we're going to select our ease in and ease out as circular, which is very cool. You can experiment with this. And then this one here is where we want our box to appear from. So I think we want it to appear from the center right. That looks good. And you can also set the transition for these if you want, but uh, there's really not any need to. Once you do that, we're pretty much okay. We can go ahead and preview our transition transition if we like and you can see these come in and out from the center right and click OK and now when we go back to main we can mess around and create our 10 seconds and then we're gonna go ahead and create our replay using the hotkey now when we go to replay one there it is and you see it zip in from the right hand side now we go to replay two and it zips right up and makes it bigger very very cool and once this is done we go back to main and it just zips it off to the right again super easy right well, let's automate it in Stream Deck. If you're interested in checking out the Stream Deck, there is a link in the description down below so you can check it out for yourself. I love mine. It's an absolutely invaluable live streaming tool. And if you want a free Stream Deck solution, there's always the Touch Portal. There's gonna be a link to a video showing you how it works at the end of this video. And here's our Stream Deck. I have an open button here, so I'm going to drag our multi-action function on there and we can just call this replay. And the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab a scene change in here. And we can just title this whatever we want. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the replay one, put a quick title in here. And now I'm gonna add a delay and I want this delay to be three seconds. So it's gonna switch to replay one and then wait three seconds. Then we're gonna drag another scene in here. And then this is gonna be replay two and it's the zoomed in one. And then I'm going to to go ahead and drag our delay in here. And I'm gonna make this one six seconds. So that's a grand total of nine seconds so we don't bump up against the end of the clip. And then I'm gonna drag another scene in here because we want it to switch back to the main scene after this plays out. And so I'm just gonna leave that on main. And now, so what we have here is this one here is gonna switch to replay one, then it's gonna wait three seconds, switch to replay two, which is the zoomed in one, wait six seconds, and then switch us back to the main scene scene. So now let's go ahead and create another 10 second clip here. 10 seconds is a lot longer than you think. So you gotta kind of do that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save our replay using our hotkeys. And then all I have to do is click it on the stream deck. And there we go. Our replay is playing. It has all the zooming function and everything else. And then it zips off the screen. Friggin' awesome. If you wanna see a free solution that's very similar to the stream deck you can use right on your cell phone, you should check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools tips and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or youtuber subscribe to the channel it's totally free my name is michael fire jr thank you so much for watching have a great day and i'll see you in the next one